So this, obviously no one has seen it yet, but this movie has some incredible action. And you guys on the end have to, you do some crazy stuff in the movie. Talk a little bit about how actually you got, what is it like getting ready for a role like this, where you are gonna be performing and doing like some pretty detailed action. Because in the end with the choreography, you know, in the fight sequences, it helps, you know, I get to help out my stunt double. So 50% of what you see is my stunt double out there throwing people over her head um, and the rest is me. And uh, I think we work well together. I think it uh, it resonated uh, with a lot of the audiences so far that have seen it. But we'll see what you guys think, you know, let me know. <laughs> if we pulled it off or not. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you that for me, Michelle's character Holga has some of the best action sequences I've seen in some time. Aww. I know that. I'm, no, for real. Like, Thank you. Because you hit that, you hit that magic spot. John and Jonathan talked a lot. Our directors were very passionate that this they didn't want this to feel like a green screen movie. Like, yes, it's fancy. Yes, there's magic. We talked about all the practical creatures, all the practical effects. But that came down to also making sure that Michelle and I were in the stunt tent every day that we weren't filming, just going through these sequences. You got to be conditioned to be able to do this take off to take off. There's thrills and there's danger but also there's humor laced in so there's some really fun little prop gags there's that bit with the bow and arrow that gets me every freaking oh, time by the way I gotta say I love Zank's uh, weapon pay attention to his sword the That's sword is awesome it does something really cool and the blade That's all I'm gonna say about break. it I'll let you guys figure out what um, that cool thing is alright child so we just finished watching uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, Honor Among Thieves so yeah guys uh, basically the cast came out as you can see uh the directors and the producers came out as well they did a whole like q a uh this was an advanced screening and um uh, i got my boy Jalen. yo yo what is yeah. up y'all it's been a few weeks i'll say your boy, weeks, yeah. boy been out of commission so i'm back and i'm you know hopefully gonna be better deliver soon yes, sir, yes, sir. So yeah, me and my boy Jason, my boy, yes, my brother, my, yes. my boy, my family, you know what I'm saying? We, we right, went right. to go watch Dungeons and Dragons today. <laughs> I'm just going to say this like straight off the bat, only because I'm not going to personally judge the movie too heavily because I personally never played the game. I mm. don't know anything about the lore. Mm. So all I'm going to say is like a lot of things were confusing to me because... Of course, I've never really indulged myself into that domain, like yeah. that whole game, whatever. First of all, I'm just gonna say the rating for me. It's like it was an alright movie. Like, like I said, I'm not gonna judge it too heavily because I, if I've never like played, so if I would, it'd probably be a little higher. So I'll probably put it like around a six or a seven, maybe, probably a six for me. Like it, it was, it was a lot of humor. Like I said, I didn't really understand much of the movie. I personally felt like in the beginning of the movie, I don't know, I kind of felt like the acting was off a little bit. Yeah. Like, I didn't feel like it was too, it was a lot of like emotion yeah. going into some of the characters. I could, I could agree as well. So I was just like, Ugh. I was like, is this going to be like the whole movie? Like, is that going to yeah. be like a whole thing? And I was just like, uh, I, didn't, I don't know. I didn't really like the, the beginning a little bit. But the movie was pretty uh, solid overall. Characters were funny, like, you could really kind of, I guess you could say relate to yeah. some of them in a way. But the action was actually pretty good. The action I was actually good. I liked the action. Yeah. The action was good, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, if I was to like get into Dungeons and Dragons, I feel like I could like some of that stuff because some of the powers and like creatures that seem like cool as hell. Because one, one of the actors said, oh, like, uh, pay attention to like the sword and they have like some powers or something. So it was pretty cool. There was two uh, of them actually in the, yeah. dun the, dun the dungeon part. There was two swords. I, ah, fuck. Yeah, that, we we can't say much because like sorry. the movie comes out like two weeks, in, like, yeah, two, like three two weeks. weeks. The humor was was is it was hit and miss for me a little bit. Yeah, uh, there were some parts where it kind of dragged. I was like, okay, like I was I was getting a little bit bored, but the action is kind of what kept me entertained. Yeah. So yeah, overall it was pretty good. You know, I like a lot. I could, I could tell he was getting bored. I was getting a little I, I, bored. I, I, I was get, I like a lot. At one point, I was like getting kind of tired, and I had my hoodie on, and I was just going like this, like leaning yeah. like this, and I was just like, fuck, I don't want to go to sleep, bro, because yeah. I, I know it's gonna be like disrespectful as hell. So, and I was just like sitting there. Like, it, it's because the, the I would say it's because the beginning was kind of rushed though, like. They, they really do explain it but you gotta like pay attention because it's like kind of fast yeah um but like i kind of understood the story while i was going because it was explaining like the past and stuff so i i, I was getting the hang of it but again the action is what kind of kept me entertained 
but yeah i kind of drag a little bit in some parts so like my rating again it'll, it'll probably be like a six or a seven around there yeah and the directors uh and like they kind of explained to us or at like at the end because they were doing q a because they did a q a yeah. before and after so you guys about to see some clips of that because i know jason recorded a little bit yeah. so they they were basically just explaining it to us and then they were saying like uh you know they wanted it to be like comedical and stuff too like and also have that main story the original like director's cut was like three hours yeah, or something like yeah, that like three hours around and then they, they cut it to like two two hours and 30 minutes and it was like two something like two hours and like 11 minutes so it was a pretty long movie it was pretty at long. least to me because i was holding it in the whole time and i had to go i'm not gonna lie it was pretty long it was a life. pretty long movie so if you have to go or anything you better go before and, and make sure you don't drink a lot because you're gonna be holding it the whole time it was it was very comedical i would say that like a lot of comedy in there is there's a mid-credit scene there's only one uh but like you don't gotta stay you know it's not nothing continuous it's just something funny that uh, happens throughout the movie uh but yeah that's that's it guys um it was it was all right it was you know I, again like we don't really know about dnd that much the game or whatever the lore but as just uh you know just someone who just goes in just to like watch the movie it was pretty good you know like yeah. you know it was all right but if you went to action you'll probably you'll, yeah, probably, you'll probably like, like the movie it, yeah and and I, I gotta say like the cgi the practical effects was actually pretty good you know so, so you know in my in my opinion yeah. yeah it was, cgi was good it was all right it was really good this is like one cgi it was like kind of like kind of bad but you know that's it <laughs> <laughs> and before we end this i want to say shout out to my boy jason you know what i'm saying yes, sir. My, my boy jason always working yeah. hard and shit bro and then he also <laughs> always bring me to these things where i get to experience these yeah don't worry I'm, I'm doing the the video how do you get invited and stuff like how do i do this so stay tuned all right so. yeah stay tuned for that yeah. you know he got he got some stuff cooking up we might have had that one be like who let this man cook bro <laughs> but i i appreciate him a lot so yeah. shout out to you my boy that's basically it that's that's our this is our reaction if you want to go watch it go watch it if you're a big fan i think you'll like this one so yes sir yeah that's it so one of the things for you guys uh, talk a little bit about the fact that one of the reasons i think this movie is so good is that it works if you don't know anything about D, &D but if you do know about D, &D, there's so many things in this so talk a little bit about um the references or you know balancing making sure it works for both audiences well that was essential you know we went into it knowing that we couldn't just make a movie for fans though we wanted to make sure the fans felt seen and that it represented <laughs> all the knowledge they bring to it um, so it's as you saw there's a ton of Easter eggs a lot of stuff from the lore but we also didn't want it to be a requirement that you spend years learning the game to come enjoy the movie and so that was the needle we were threading yeah I mean first and foremost we set out to make a, a, a film that that we were really proud of uh, we poured a lot of years of our lives into it um, knew that we had to kind of bridge that gap between fans and non-fans alike um, but i think what's so great about D, D is it's a welcoming game and uh, if anyone's familiar with it you know that you don't have to know a lot about D, &D to come to love it uh, it's the spirit of the game that makes it special and that's definitely what we wanted to emulate in this